And there you go, we were one mix short. That just pried out with the pickaxe too, so. Almost every, almost every brick just like came loose as soon as it fell, so. Good Thursday, the 29th of Feb morning. This thing, it this day isn't that for another four years. 29th of Feb. So this is today's job. We're gonna help that. <laughs> Doesn't gonna need much help. Skip three, skip three right here. There we go. Look at that. So yeah. Basically, that's coming down. We're digging a new foundation and we're going to copy that wall there. So, this is our one, two, three, fourth wall on here now. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's, we're, we're going to do it in a du double skin as well. And we're going to cut this back straight where they've tied into it. We're going to cut that down straight. And we're going to put a couple of screw ties into that. Yeah, that's the plan. I better make these stones back first, mate. Yeah. That was hard. I like straight into it. Yeah, let's see the mum out too good. Christine's really bad at the moment. Alex probably got it a bit not as bad, but I think you'd rather be at home. But you, don't, you like the demo days, don't you? Oh, well, it's not as, not as hard as it is, is it? No. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. We'll get the tools out and then get stuck into this. A new job. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I was just uh, looking for somewhere to put the camera on time lapse then, but uh, I want to show you this. Hmm. I'd love to just drop it, but I don't want to damage the cave. We had enough boards, we could have put the boards down. Yeah. We've only got one board because we're in a bit of a rush this morning. Plus, if we do pull it over, it might tear that corner of that wall. So, yeah. need to be careful with that. But yeah, let's get some power tools out. Which we, can we, show you, we can show you some new toys as well. Oh, yeah, we have some new toys. You can't see much at the moment, but um, we have a proper trolley for the breaker. So, it's got somewhere to live with its um, chisels, so we can't forget them anymore. The battery straps on the back as well. And we have a supercharger for the MX, which is going to be a big help. And um, what else have we got, Al? I think that's it. I think that's it that we brought with us today. Yeah, and the the SDS Max, we've got a um, we've got a circular saw which came with another 12 amp hour battery. And we've sent a couple of new, the new 6 amp hour forge batteries, which are the brand new ones they've just brought out, which are the same the 6 amp hour same power as the 12 amp hour, but a lot smaller, a lot more compact. So I've got them to give a go as well. So, um, yeah. Let's get set up then. Well, that was uh, a bit too easy. <laughs> well, there you go. That's it's a uh, it's it out almost to the bottom. Just enough boards to protect the paint, didn't we? Just enough, yeah. So we can enjoy it. And what do you know? We've left the barra at home. So Dad's going to go and get the barra. I'll go move all this into the skip and then start chipping away at the bottom courses until he gets back. Uh, you haven't told me the idiots in the barra on that wall. I forgot to order the bricks. I only ordered enough bricks for half the wall. Today, we've been messing around the van, swapping over, and forgot the wheelbarrow. 
We haven't even got a gorilla truck to move it back and forth to the skip. We could do it without. Imagine digging a spade for and walking back and forth to the skip. Yeah. So. <coughs> Let's get cracking. Well, there you go. That's most of the wall in there. Uh, you have to excuse me, I'm, uh, I'm overheating and cooking and dying over here. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was a bit too easy. I think if that wall was here much longer, that would have been falling on somebody. You saw how I didn't even need to push my foot to knock that over. But yeah, mortar's just crumbling apart. Almost every, almost every brick just like came loose as soon as it fell, so obviously some of it stayed in put but no it was that was very ready for falling. So yeah, now that I've got that I'm just gonna try and find any bricks underneath the ground now, see if there's a foundation. And then while dad's still out I'll try and maybe start digging a bit of a bit of a trench and uh, see where we go from there. But yeah, there we go. We'll catch you in a bit. Oh. So, this is where I'm at so far. Uh, this is just a guesstimate because I don't have a tape measure on me, but that's just a little rough idea so we know where we're digging. It may have to be a bit bigger, just because it's double skin, so I'm gonna have to make that a bit bigger, but that's fine. That's just so I know what I'm looking for. The concrete, I know you don't need a massive foundation for doing walls, but that's a little bit, uh, that's a bit, uh, <laughs> not enough. That just pried out with the pickaxe too, so. That's not going to be hard once I find an open end for this concrete. It's just going to pry out, so... Like I keep saying, it's bad in practice, but it makes the job all the more easier for us, so... Because, <sighs> for me, that's one reason why I love bricklaying and all that. Because I know that I've turned this into something that's more safer, more structurally sound, and just nicer. Because that was abysmal. <laughs> but yeah, the dig is uh, not going too bad. Like I say, I just need to get an open end for this concrete, which I'll get in a minute because it looks like it's stepped in a weird way. I think because obviously it goes down that way, so you need bricks that side, just concrete this side. I'll figure something out. Dad will hopefully be back soon. Until then, I'll keep cracking and uh, give you an update when I can. Well, the concrete is coming out much easier than we thought. That's just prying out with the bar. We don't even have to use a power tool yet. I'm just giving that a few stabs with the bar and it's coming out no problem. Because we were very excited to, uh, to debut our, our new little fancy little stand for our, our breaker. Yeah, now we don't go to jobs and forget the muddy chisels. The chisels live with it. So we we'll forget the chisels again. <sighs> and now that we have everything on site, we don't need it. <laughs> the, wall, the wall's too flimsy to need the big stuff. 
This spring loaded to this day. Very fancy. And straps keep it in place. There's a spike there, isn't it? To sit it on. Yep. And then this here is for the battery. You can actually fit the battery charger on, but um, we have an upgrade on the charger too. So yeah, we got we got excited to show this off, but we can't show it off properly yet. No, we don't need it today. Which I suppose is good. Yeah. We can show off the new 12 amp hour batteries and the forge batteries now because we're using the, uh, the last year. Max. Uh, Max. Yes. Uh, even the smaller breaker is a bit overpowered for this job. That's the footing, that's a big bit of footing actually. So Alex just got the tip on it. Just caught under the curb. Pre blown bricks. It go in the, the garden edge of it and pop it out that way. That's it. A big bit which still doesn't need any banging to get it out. Okay, it's like that the whole way across. Yeah, no wonder it fell over. So we could have done this in our caveman days. Yeah. So what was wrong here? The, the roots had grown in the first course and pushed it over. Basically. Yeah. All this thin layer of roots. Yeah, showing the weed membrane that stops so stop um, things growing through it. It's completely uh, taken over by weed roots in it. So what it did was the course above the concrete. It just like formed like a damp course layer almost. Yeah. So obviously there was, there was not stuck to anything. No. So it was just, it basically pried itself off. Hence a little push and it fell over. There you go. That's what it was, just all across the bricks. Pretty hell. And we're going plenty deep and plenty wide, get a nice decent concrete footing in here. Yeah, look, get these last few out. That's going to be a bit of a bit of pain to get out the post and the, the footing be a bit beneath it, but post I think we're coming in a bit. Post is solid. Yeah, I, th I think we're coming in a bit, so we can probably leave the concrete in for the post and concrete up to it. Yeah, I yeah. don't think we could have built our wall. Yeah, Get hey. it seems like it actually gets thicker here. I mean, yeah. wider. I've got wider enough. Wow. What have you noticed? It's all cracked. It's not, Alex hasn't broke it. You can see there's, there's no clean breaks in it. So it's, it's been cracked anyway. It's coming out in sections. The breaker hasn't touched this, so basically this footing is in chunks like that, doing nothing. That's it. Four inches at the thickest. Yeah, that's the biggest piece we've pulled out. So in pieces, we have broke that up, have we? And the bit, nice bit of Alex's uh, skip stacking skills. <laughs> Try saying that ten times. Yeah. Lovely job. So, just say what you said to me then. That's uh, the wall down and the concrete out for half ten. <laughs>
And that's with the man missing for an hour and 15 minutes as well. That's, that's him on his own, that. A sick one. I broke a couple of bits out of the breaker. He's done all of it. And he's not good. He's not well. But um, he does like these jobs, as we all do. Very wet this, and mucky, messy, as you can see, it never goes that, wet, that easy for us, there's more down there, it's not concrete, it's like, it's like sand cement, so it's still has to be broken out, I'm more or less down to the depth now, we found good clay, so we're going to take that level through at that, at the clay. Probably just about one man between us today. Alice has got a severe cold. Shouldn't be in really. And I've got a. I'm not going to say what I've got, but I shouldn't be in either. But um, we have to do it. Feel bad bringing him in, but I can't work on my own anymore. There's no way I could do this on my own. But um, I didn't make him come in. It's Alex's choice. So um, it's not me being a mean dad making him come in. Obviously he needs the money too. So we're going to have an early dinner. Try and have a little bit of a rest and um, crack on after dinner. But yeah, I wish we could go home. Not good. Both struggling really bad here. Oh, I can't get over how west it is. I don't know where all the water's coming from. But that makes it a pain in the ass and makes it all messy and horrible to dig. You see the Alex got through there at that depth. So we're going to take it down. Probably double that depth now. And as soon as that's done, we can start getting some concrete in there. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. Let's just crack on.
Boom. There's one poorly person. He's done so well today. Well, teamwork, but he's done all the graft. As you can see, we're done. I'm sure that. That's the depth we decided to go to. We're just going to fill it up with concrete until we run out of ballast, which is the only Alex. That's sand. So, that is just a load of old ballast. Oh, 3%. So, we're going to get rid of these two barrows, have a little minute, recuperate ourselves, and then um, Alex has got a bucket gauge. Uh, we've left a small bucket at home, haven't we? It's full of air ballast. Yeah. Um, Alex has got a bucket gauge it, as we did on the last job of the porch. Um, <clears throat> bucket gauge, four buckets, half a bag of cement. Bring it around to me, tip it. I'm going to mix it and tip it. So he's going to keep bringing it and I'm going to keep mixing it. So that's our plan. And it's just going about half two hours now. Uh, but it's nearly three. Two forty. So that's that's good news, isn't it? When you think it's three o'clock, it's actually twenty two. That's always good news. Unless you want to finish early. <laughs> Tonight we're going to go back to Sarah's, drop off the insulation that's in the van, pick up another two eighty four sheets for covering the pavements up tomorrow when we start the brickwork. If we're here, it depends on the weather and it depends how we feel. <clears throat> but um, the main thing is this concrete's only been today. I'm going to cover the trench up with the, with the big boards. That's that's the that's the foundation. I'll zoom in on the uh, with the editing, but it's that, that wall down there. That one there. It's the one. The title of the video was "Sack Dad." He can't count. That's when I only I only I only got enough bricks delivered for a single skin wall, so I've uh, let me rest on that one. So uh, yeah, we're pretty level. We've just followed the, followed the laser level. So uh, concrete time in a bit. Smoky in it? Yeah. And take some cleaning.
place to clean the mixer out. I've just cleaned all the tools off. And as you just saw, berries have dropped off the bricks. All the reds and the blue engineerings. And there you go. We were one mix short. So we've um, we've leveled it off. We've scraped it down and leveled it off so it would be either a block and a brick or a block and a big bed. Yeah, rather than having a thin step in it and really thin concrete at the same, we've pulled it through solid concrete the same. Same depth. Yeah. But that was quite a dig. We were deceived. There was so they they put a good they put a good amount of concrete in and covered it with bloody soil and crap. Then put a really awful one skin thick concrete down up to like here. Was it? And then and then put the wall on top of that. So it was. It was an archaeological adventure, but that will be it for today and for the video. So next you'll be seeing the brickwork, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you know when we upload. It's a massive help and we appreciate the support. Any additional support you want to give, there's the super thanks under the video or the PayPal in Dead's. Hmm? <laughs> Not necessary by any means, but it's always a massive help for the channel and we really appreciate it. So this has been digging with crippled Steve and a sick Alex and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>